Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here in Foley Square, covering the Southern District of New York and also the New York criminal courts. Now, yesterday were the opening statements in U.S. versus Saifalo Saipov. He's the man who killed eight on the West Side Highway bike path. Now, the federal defenders admit that he did it. They say the whole trial, three months, will be to show that he didn't do it to join ISIS, but rather to seek to die. If he wanted to die, why are the federal defenders trying to keep him from the death penalty? Asks some. There's also the trial of Dr. Hayden of uh, Haddon of Columbia University. I covered it yesterday and it was quite troubling. A woman he'd, he'd um, performed an examination on testified and it was, look at the story on Inner City Press. I, I don't want to say it in this format. There's also the civil trial of Adidas versus, versus uh, Tom Brown. Yesterday he was talking about how Messi was on Barcelona while they were providing even, evening wear to FC Barcelona, but he, Messi had the contract with Adidas and so he couldn't, I guess, wear Tom Brown's tuxedos. Tom Brown himself has showed up in a suit jacket with, with a pair of shorts. Now, back to SBF. Yes, SBF. We're still waiting to have those co-signers unsealed. We filed for it. Uh, but we have read that Mr. Nishad Singh has done a proffer session with the prosecutors. Whoa, three on one? Could be pretty, pretty nasty. Also in, in uh, crypto news, uh, the Gemini case that we, re we reported on, uh, class action against uh, <clears throat> Gemini, they've moved to force arbitration. So we'll be following that one, writing the story soon. Now, rather than, we covered the United Nations, but they've thrown us out. So we're going to be writing a story about UN sexual abuse today. They data dumped a new rape. But I did want to note this. This morning, the U.S. State Department bragged that they're going to host the 10th meeting of the state parties of the UN Convention on Corruption in Atlanta, Georgia in December. Let me just say, the UN itself is totally corrupt. It's a total dream world to have the U.S. bragging about the preeminent anti-corruption meeting by an organization that itself has been shown repeatedly. It's not just, uh, you know, blood for, what is it, money for oil, oil for... It, it, the current Secretary General took money from Gulbenkian, which tried to sell its oil company, the China Energy Fund Committee, and he hid the whole thing and banned the breast and ass. So think again, Anthony Blinken, to be continued.